and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Nah. Uh, Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. All right. This is a remake or an updated version of, yes. of the video that we did in the past. Is your shoulder pain from nerve, muscle, or joint? And how to tell? Now, this is difficult to do, but we're going to take a, st a stab at it for the layperson, I should say. Right. Because it's very common. I would say very common, in my opinion. Shoulder pain oftentimes can come from a nerve or the neck. The neck, right. Um, Refers down. Right. And the referral pain can really get this a little bit confusing. Uh, so we're going to show you some hints on what we do to figure it out and see if, uh, you know, you could deal with it yourself a little bit well, at yeah, home. I'm get my shoulder warmed up right here because if you are new to our channel, oh. please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, <laughs> fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, join us on our website, bobandbrad.com, because we're always giving something away, just not today. Go to there tomorrow on Sunday. It's our new contest starts. Yeah. Then we'll say the same thing that day. No, no, we won't. Uh, go to also Facebook, Bob and Brad. It'll Any contest we have will be pinned at the top of our page. There you go. I uh, want a short version of us. Go to Twitter or Instagram. 60 seconds of Bob and Brad a day. That's about all some people can put up with, including our spouses. Right, exactly. All right. And she lets me know it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding, Julie. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I do is someone comes in with shoulder pain and I have any suspicion at all, I want to clear the neck first. Yeah, we want to make we want to see if the neck is causing any of this pain. Right, because if it is, it really takes a, it really makes things a lot simpler down the road. Right. So if, what else is what I'll do? do you I'll want have me to sit or do sit, you want, sit, okay, sit, Bob. okay. I'll pretend now this is sit boo boo. Yeah. This first thing is you really can't do it to yourself. You have to have someone help you who you trust and is going to be uh, mature and serious about it. Is Bob's going to sit in, in a good, tall, in good, good posture. Tall posture. I don't want to be like this. Right. As sit as straight as I possibly can sit. Right. So the, he's got shoulder pain in his right shoulder, and if I put gentle, gentle, gentle. pressure down on his head. If that changes anything with the shoulder pain, makes it worse or better, that's telling me. Uh, for Well, let me put it this way. We're going to do that one. If anything changes with it, we're going to find out by asking him. And then we're also going to go under the chin and behind the head and gently pull up and put some distraction or traction on the neck. If either one of those changes the pain in the shoulder, makes it better or worse, that's a very strong indication there's neck involvement or right. low neck involvement it's always possible remember that you could have neck and shoulder involvement exactly but that's why we're saying the neck may be involved along with the shoulder right. or the neck right. alone now if both of those are negative or they don't cause any problem at all i'm still not convinced i still need to screen the neck a little bit more so i'm going to have bob do some active range of motion in other words i'm not going to touch his hands this you can do to yourself and so you want to start out i usually do the forward Protrusion. Head forward, yeah. Head forward, or you just stick your neck out. I do flexion. Yep. Flexion. Up and down. I do extension. Our back. Again, our, we're looking for any symptoms causing, any movement causing pain down the arm. Right. Uh, turning to the left. Turning to the right. You can even go side bend to the left, side bend to the right. Right. Now, even if you maybe don't have pain down the arm, but you have pretty severe pain in the neck, it makes me think, I wonder, I question whether or not right. it is shoulder break, especially if it's on the right side. Right. So if the pain is here, and I've had people with pain right here in the shoulder do these exercises, and all of a sudden they say, oh, that hurts here when I do this neck thing. There's something wrong with the neck. It, it might not right. be the cause of the shoulder pain, but it could be. So we just want to make sure we know what we have. What we're really looking for, you know, for confirmation is if it's connected. You yeah. Know, like you get pain going all the way from the neck to that shoulder. Yeah. Then that's a pretty good right. sign that you're from the neck. And, and I'll, if it's from the neck, it's almost certainly a nerve problem. Not for sure, but it's leaning in that direction. So that that's what we do to find out if it's from... Uh, the nerve or the neck. The next thing, yeah, we can get the chair out of here. The next thing we're going to do is just look at range of motion of your shoulders and compare one to the other. So if sure. you have a mirror at home, stand in front of the mirror, and both hands are going to go up like this. And if there's a problem, you might notice 
this hand goes up to here, and this one only goes up to here. And, you know, if and that's it, the sore side. <laughs> then you were starting to think there's some shoulder involvement. Right. Never Possible mind. it's a joint or a muscle. Right. And then we can do abduction. Looking again. Is it symmetrical one side to the thumbs other? Thumbs up. Yep. If you can thumbs up in the shoulder there or go further. Go. Yep. And so pain on one side versus pain on the other. Anything different from the good to the bad. Uh, this one, this is a, a real common one where there's, there's oftentimes a problem I'll find in a joint is you go out like this, keeping the elbows glued to the ribs. Out like this and back and see if they're External the same. External rotation. Yep. If you got a joint problem, a lot of times this one's going to hurt probably more than the other ones, or this one. The next one is extension. So you need to be standing with this one, it works best. And you just go behind you like this. And this one may. And again, you could have someone look at it for you. If right. Because you, you, sometimes it's hard yeah. to tell whether or not one's going higher than the other. But, exactly, uh, exactly. And again, if you find one that's significantly, especially like in most of the directions, losing has lost motion. Right. There's a sign there that there's your sign. It yeah. might be a shoulder issue. Yeah, and it's probably in the joint. It could be in a, in a muscle too as well. Um, then this is what I call functional range of motion. With the good hand, let's say my right shoulder is a sore one. My good hand, I'm going to reach behind my neck and see if I can reach past. This is pretty normal for someone my age and, and most people reach past their, uh, their what do you call this? Collar. Collar, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you Sign were, of age. I thought you were talking about like C7. No, no, I, I was going to keep it pretty late. Person. Okay. And if this one you can hardly get up to here or, you know, only to there, you know, that's an indication. There's a problem. And there's usually pain associated with that. And then also you want to go, I say, put your thumb right on your spine and see how far you can go up to there. This is a great one to have someone with you and put a piece of tape there. Yep. And then see so if the, the other, other one... one Oh, I and look at that. There's there. a foot difference. Right. So, uh, and that's very common to see stuff like that, especially right. on painful shoulders. Right, exactly. Uh, um, so, so, and that's more indica indicative of a shoulder joint problem, typically. Uh, so then uh, also there's some tests. Now, these sure. are special tests that uh, therapists often do or doctors. Uh, the first one it's called the NEAR test, named after Dr. NEAR. It's a little bit hard to do yourself, but you can. You're just going to take your hand and flex it straight up like this. Use the other hand if you want and put a little overpressure. So I always remember it because we're going near to the ear. Yeah. Push that arm to the ear. And up in here, if there's no pain, and then all of a sudden you get up in here, ow, it hurts. That's a positive sign. Possible impingement. Possible impingement up in that shoulder joint. The, these are all impingement. Yeah, the tendon's getting pinched in there, basically, if you right. think of. And, mm -hmm. and uh, that will that's very common, yep. and that can give you a lot of pain. People right. are surprised how painful those can be. Right. And then also do the other arm. So, if, you know, the good arm should be negative as well, of course, uh, but it's nice to practice on that one. I'll usually do one to the other with a patient. Uh, the next one is crossover. This one's easy to do yes, yourself. It you just simply grab your elbow, and go over, and this shows some impingement when you get to end range or over in here. It's like, oh, it hurts. This can also be the end of the collarbone. Sure. Yeah. Yep. So it, it's not necessarily impingement, if it, but it's a shoulder issue right. either now, way. Now, this one, I'm positive when I have healthy shoulders. And I was like that you in PT can, school. You can feel it. Yeah. It's not so much anymore. In PT school, one side was always positive. And it's like, oh, you want a positive sign? Do it to Brad, you know? Sure. <laughs> uh, so all these tests aren't. Yeah, definitive. It's uh, that's why this is more of a. a and I a mean to be thing. to be honest, sometimes we get done and we're not even still certain. Right. And and sometimes we treat people for a while and then it becomes more evident. Right. Right. You know, we treat one thing like it doesn't get better, so then we try another thing. Right. So. Um, so and they're probably saying, well, why are you showing us this video then? Well, because because no, sometimes it does get fairly. It's 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 fairly easy to tell. Yep. Yeah. It's particularly the first one with the neck. Yeah. And uh, Hawkins Kennedy, very every therapist knows this one. You bring your arm out like this, keep the elbow still and rotate down. And this will be painful as you do the rotation. Yeah, and even arm. bring it across sometimes too. They'll, they'll yeah, and there's some variation yeah. in the therapist, whether it's here or here, right. and you push down. Right. Um, but that one will ways. be painful as well. So that pretty much. Well, you were going to. 
palpate the muscles? Oh, very good. If, as far as is it a muscle? If right. let's say all these are negative and you know the neck is clear and it's like, well, oh, maybe you just pull the muscle or tendon. You know, then get into the muscle and I'll do this. I'll I'll just start. I kind of have a system that poke around. Yeah, poke around. You go into the muscle belly and push and see if you find a tender spot. Um, and here, a lot of times, you know, I'll find up here, but it could be a trigger point, so you can get mixed right. up there. In the biceps, if you tore your bicep a little bit, you can usually find that spot just by squeezing and working that bicep. So work the muscle belly. That's and, the yeah, squishy I, part. I tore my tricep, you know, micro tear yeah. one time, and, it, yeah, I could feel find the spot right, right yeah. on. Right so. now, I have a pectoralis. Yeah. A minor tear right in here, and I can clearly when I get on it, it's like, oh, there yeah, it is. And what's shocking at our age is how long it takes for these oh, things to heal. Oh, why, Bob? I mean, it why does, did you have to bring it up? I, I was, I was feeling so good about <laughs> life, and now the slow healing. Yeah. But we're here to help you out, and we'll get you going. Going. Well, you finish, Bob. Yeah, okay. Remember, we can fix just about anything except for a broken heart. There you go. But we're working on it. That was a good finish. There we go.